your decluttering motivation to start your week off, whether you are decluttering as I am towards a new life or decluttering after the loss of a loved one, both, both are my cases. I'm going to walk you through it. Fly Lady Zone 5 and I'm hoping today to declutter all of our DVDs. I've been thinking about that for a while. Today is the day. Can I, can I get rid of them all? <laughs> not, not sure. So let's dive in. Diane and Emmerich here, ra ra ra. So today we are tackling the DVDs and thanks to everybody for the fantastic feedback on last week's video. I did 90 minutes of decluttering my, my wardrobe. And, and as I said back then, that is not the usual way that I do things. Sometimes it's nice to have a good big purge, but usually the, the 15 minutes at a time method works for me, going through the Fly Lady Zones. That's what we're doing today. And the DVDs, they are in this uh, big old chest. And this chest belonged to my dearly departed Danish father-in-law, D-D-D-F-I-L. And here they are down here. And you've seen me decluttering these over the years. I've whittled them down. But since uh, Hubby and I, we are going to be moving, hopefully, next year into a beautiful apartment in the centre of Copenhagen. Uh, and also Mum's uh, recent death, that, that really has focused me, laser focused me in on what really matters. It's the people that matter, the experiences, not the stuff. And I think I'm ready to let go of all, all of them. So anyway, let's see what we're dealing with. And my intention is to let go of all of these because in, in the old days, in my, in my old life, I would kind of watch DVDs, but now I just, you know, I prefer to read or prefer to be doing things with friends. And there's, there, uh, and, or I watch TV. Uh, uh, we, we don't have any streaming services, but there's plenty of good stuff on, on Danish television. So anyway, I'm gonna take them all out, get them in the box, and we'll just go through them one by one. And I will be your timer today, so, so don't worry about that. And remember, if you're gonna declutter along with them, make sure you set yourself up for success. Get your bags and boxes ready for uh, put away items, give away items uh, and, and any kind of trash or recycling that we might find along the way. And you don't need to be working Fly Lady Zone 5. Maybe you want to work somewhere else in the house, but I just find the zones are really helpful, especially if you're going through, through grief. It, it takes out the thought process of, for us and we can just keep moving forward. That, that's all we're doing here. Just going to go through them one by one. Wonder Woman box set, that can go. And we've got the box set up here, so that can go. Uh, Weekend at Bernie's, <laughs> I loved that film. It was one of the first films I kind of saw as a teenager. So funny, don't need to keep it. Uh, and I should also point out here that we have fabulous Danish uh, libraries where everything, of course, is uh, free to, to borrow. And they've got the, the weirdest stuff or can get it for you. So, so many things, you know, I can get from the library if I ever wanted to watch it again. Eddie Izzard, love Eddie Izzard, seen him several times, but do I need to hold on to the DVDs? No, 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 no. Might like to go and see him live again if he comes back to Copenhagen. Okay, Peter K, again, love Peter K, don't need to hold on to the uh, DVDs. I, we've got a lot of um, comedian DVDs. Kevin Bridges, actually saw him in Copenhagen recently. And another one that we saw recently, Alan Carr. I love Alan Carr. You know, when, you, when I see those uh, comedians, I, I laugh until I cry. Okay, this is Black Books. Have you heard of Black Books? It's an old TV series. Well, it was very funny. I don't need to watch it again. Uh, also starring Bill Bailey. And I have to say, we saw Bill Bailey a couple of years ago here in Copenhagen. He was fantastic. Most recently, not so much. The, I don't know, the, the show just seemed a bit kind of, hmm. I, I don't know, it didn't make, um, yeah, Bill Bailey. So th that can go as well, Bill Bailey. Okay, this is a tough one. Oh, another Alan Carr. The, this one, the, this is more difficult. Jeeves and Wooster. Now, I love, I love uh, P.G. Woodhouse. And I actually reread recently one of my favourite ones. And I just, I just needed it, you know, because I'm going through the grieving process about mum. Mum loved uh, P.G. Woodhouse as well in Jeeves and Wooster. Uh, and for those of you who hadn't, haven't already heard the story, 
Uh, Mum took a tumble in the summer and she was doing really well, but the, the, that kind of, the, the fall um, kind of finished her off. And she was on end of life care. I, was, I went over to Edinburgh, it was just after my birthday, kind of the day after my birthday. And I looked after her together with my, my brother during her final days. We were with mum when she passed. And my brother and I, we cleared uh, mum's house in about uh, 10 days time. So we, I've really been doing a lot of uh, processing of things and it's really put things into perspective for me. Anyway, I, I reread <laughs> the PG Woodhouse because that, that's really helped me through the grief, you know, um, reading and being with friends. Uh, anyway, Jeeves and Wooster, I think I may watch these uh, one last time, but then I'm ready to let them go. Right, so th those are to be watched. This is one that came as a freebie, never got around to watching it. And why I've been holding on to those. And that was the thing at mum's house, like mum is like me. Uh, there's one, oh, I'll tell you the story when we come to the video. Drummer and the Keeper, uh, me, this, this was actually made by a friend of ours and never got around to watching it. Let's see, let's see if I can watch it. Otherwise this one will go as well. Father Brown, you know I love Father Brown, but I think I'm ready to let go of the box sets now. One of my friends will love those. I've actually got some DVDs over at the Summer House and we might leave those because we don't really have um, much television there or I'll see, but all those ones can go. Okay, oh, some of, <laughs> some of my favorite ones, Blades of Glory, have you seen that? Fabulously funny. Tropic Thunder, Red 2, um, oh, and hold on, this is all, these are all kind of the same ilk, Zoolander and Walter Mitty, all of those can go. Here is a film that mum and I have always shared a love of, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Have you seen it? Like Millie is my kind of inspiration in life and then Muzzy is also my inspiration of what I think I would, I, I, I would, I, I look like and I don't really. Uh, and mum, she loved that film and mum and I could quote the film, we loved all the dancing in it. And actually at mum's funeral service, it was mentioned that mum, in the end, she really enjoyed just watching Christmas movies. Mum had a bit of dementia and um, she would watch Christmas movies or Thoroughly Modern Millie. So I think that one, that one I'm going to keep, but down in, down in the basement in my memorabilia box, hands up if you remember these, I actually have the Thoroughly Modern Millie VHS tape and that was the only VHS tape that I couldn't let go of. Okay, the VHS tape can go. Does anybody else have VHS tape? We don't even have a VHS player. This one can go. Goodbye, Millie. Love that film. Right, so, so this one, this one is being kept. Oh, and when we went through, um, you know, cleared mum's house, there was a whole cupboard, like the size of the bookshelf, the bookcases there, full of DVDs. Mum hadn't watched them in years, and many of them were like box sets, hadn't ever been opened, still had the plastic on them. Are you like that? What, what are you keeping them for? If you're not going to watch them soon, I mean, if you didn't watch them during the pandemic, when are you going to watch them, honestly? And, you know, I've got, I've got other things I want to do with my time. This is why I'm making space for what is to come. Right, next one, Train to Busan. And yes, we were in South Korea on our uh, vacation this year, just actually after mum passed and before mum's funeral. And I said to the kids, if we go to South Korea, I've got to be on that train to Busan. And we took the train from uh, Seoul to Busan. Nothing happened to us on the train, but that is a fantastic movie. It's, you're scared, you are crying, laughing. It's so over the top. So I thoroughly recommend that one, but it can go. They're getting a bit mixed up. As I said, they were nicely done in the box. Okay, Avengers can go, Valerian can go, Fifth Element, ah, oh, love the Fifth Element, another one of my favorite films. 
Commissario Montalbano, ciao, salvo sono, and his broccoli pasta. Uh, uh, Montalbano can go, love the books. I've got all the books uh, of Montalbano. Marx Brothers, that I used to enjoy it with my granddad. Love the Marx Brothers. You can actually find most of them also on the internet um, for free that you can watch for free. That, that, that one is going. I love the, the Marx Brothers. Oh, a box set. Iron Man is my favourite Marvel, um, what do you call him? Bureau, Action Man, Action Man, Iron Man. That and Jason Statham as the transporter. He's got his rules. Next lot. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Empty, whole empty drawer. Ooh, do you need to take a little pose technique? Uh, uh, spend a penny or grab a glass of water. Right, I'm excited. Okay, one box red, full. Or oh, I can get more in there. Remember, anytime you see me decluttering, I don't always remember to say it. I always check with the kids uh, before I declutter anything that they might be interested in. But I, I've already asked them about the DVDs and they're really, you know, they took anything that they wanted when they moved into their apartments. They, they both have apartments in the city. My son has been in his apartment for four years, my daughter in her apartment for three years. Wow, time is flying. Okay, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Okay, these ones, hold on, just got a little, a little dust. That this duster that I brought back from mum's is quite funny, but I think she needs she needs a wash. I will check with the kids, but I'll probably um, see that there'll be somebody in my ladies group that will uh, probably want those. I'm not going to cart all these to our next uh, clothes swap. Well, we've got a little um, Facebook group for the, the clothes swap, so people can, can say, oh, I've got all these, you know, bigger items. Right, Mamma Mia can go. And, oh, this is a fun one. For Trulal, um, uh, I think it's called Enchanted. Um, Enchanted. It's a, a kind of um, Disney for kind of uh, for grown-ups. That, 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 that's a real fun. Mum, mum liked that film as well. Right, Hot Shots can go. Naked Gun can go. Pulp Fiction can go. Curse of the Jade Scorpion. Uh, a Woody Allen one like that one. Okay. Oh, box set. Box set coming up. This is one that the kids loved when they were small. Horrible histories, have you seen that? British uh, t TV that actually made kind of history interesting. They actually started using it in schools. Really, really funny stuff. Uh, okay, so that's more. Ooh. Oops. No, honestly, it's much easier if I was to declutter without filming because then I could just, I still talk to myself, but I, I would have it easier. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. Um, right, uh, Lemony Snicket, also a brilliant film. Hunger Games, one, two, two Hunger Games, so there might be another one coming up. Princess Bride. There's some kind of funny quotes from the Princess Bride. They're not coming to me right now. You killed my father, oh, something like that. Okay, right, Lego Movie. Okay, this is onto the kind of kids section. Um, Ice Age, another Ice Age. Mickey Blue Eyes with Hugh Grant. Have you seen this one? Also, also a brilliant uh, film. And of later Hugh Grant ones, I really like Hugh Grant in his kind of, um, kind of slightly um, absurd comic roles. If you've seen any of the Guy Ritchie films with Hugh Grant in it, like The Gentleman, Absolutely not for uh, children. Do not watch that <laughs> if there are children around. It's a brilliant film. Right, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. What's the answer to everything? Wasn't it 42? <laughs> okay, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Those can go. Percy Jackson. Oh, the kids uh, um, love the Percy Jackson books. Rick, was it Rick Reardon? Rick O'Reardon. My mind is a blank. Okay, Big Bang Theory also for the kids. Agatha Raisin, that was mine, but that can go. So all of these, all of these are going. Oh, now I'm going to have to make space because you're not going to be able to see me after this. Mind you, it would be a good kind of uh, YouTube um, clickbait thumbnail, wouldn't it? Like this, <laughs> me peering out, making the face. Do you get, do you get uh, annoyed about those? I, I, I'm not going to watch a video where somebody's going <laughs> like that. Okay. Uh, right. Starskin Hutch. Starskin. Oh, I love Starskin Hutch when I was small. 
I used to play <laughs> Starsky and Hutch with a friend of mine and, and dress up as spies and stuff. And yeah, anyway, Starsky and Hutch, both of those can go. What are we coming to now? <gasps> oh, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, that can go. Okay, and then, oh, Shaun of the Dead and World's End, those can both go. I, I do like the Cornetto trilogy. Now I'm thinking, where's the other one? Where, where's Hot Fuzz? I'll have another quick look through. But, oh, Hot Fuzz, I may have lent it to a friend or one of the kids. Uh, a Night at the Museum. I, I love Ben Stiller. He makes great films. Okay, some other old ones. <laughs> Clash of the Titans, the original Clash of the Titans. The Dark Knight. I don't know why we have that one. And it wasn't into Batman. Uh, Al Mar Murray, pub landlord, another comedian. Oh, just a few left. Die Hard. <laughs> Box set of Die Hard movies. The original Die Hard. That, that, that was one of the best Christmas movies ever. But they, they can all go. Do, 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 do. Can I let go of the Star Wars? Yes, I can let go of the Star Wars. The, the, everybody and their mothers have got, have got Star Wars DVDs that they can lend to us. So, yeah, all of those can go. So, and, and as I said, I'll check with the kids. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have, once I put these, I'm going to have two full boxes. And the only ones that I'm keeping will be Hot Fuzz. I thought I'm going to keep a Hot Fuzz when I find it. And Thoroughly Modern Millie. And these two, we will probably watch them. And then those can go as well. Okay, now I'm doing that. Okay, so how did I do? How, how, how are you doing? Did, are you thinking, oh no, I couldn't possibly let go of these things. Remember, no, no judgment here. Maybe you like to stay at home all the time and uh, you don't have a good uh, library and uh, you, you like to wallow in your, in your old DVDs. That's great, but think about how many things you need to keep. Are, are you keeping craft supplies? Remember, I did some craft supplies recently. Are you hoarding uh, cleaning products? Are you hoarding um, office supplies that you will never use up in a month of Sundays? So think, think about that. Hopefully I've given you a wee bit of uh, food for thought today. I'll see you later in the week because I think we need to have a heart to heart about a, a lot of you are struggling with the decluttering and then you say to me, but oh, how, why do I look so happy when I'm decluttering? And I, and I think I've got some questions that, that you can ask yourself about that. So anyway, remember, I, I would love it if you could uh, subscribe uh, to my channel. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Everything that I do, I do myself and I do it for free. No sponsored content, no adverts in the middle of my videos. If you could help me in return just by subscribing or sharing my, with, my video with a friend, that would be fantastic. So anyway, see you later this week. All I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the decluttering who could be with you and I'll see you very soon. And who's got my Hot Fuzz DVD with a rah, rah, rah. Okay, bye for now.